Today, we are going to talk about Marie Curie, the Polish-born French physicist and chemist who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity. Did you know that there's a person here that won two Nobel Prizes in different fields? We will get into that later. Please subscribe. Marie Curie was born in Warsaw, Poland, on November 7, 1867, as Maria Salomea Sklodowska. She was the youngest of five children of a teacher couple who valued education and encouraged their children to pursue their interests. Marie had a passion for learning and showed exceptional abilities in mathematics and physics. However, she faced many obstacles and challenges in her early life, such as the death of her mother and sister, the oppression of the Russian Empire, and the lack of opportunities for women in higher education. Despite these difficulties, Marie never gave up on her dreams. She studied at Warsaw's clandestine Flying University, a secret institution that provided education to Polish people who were excluded from the official system. She also worked as a governess and a tutor to support herself and her sister Bronislawa, who was studying medicine in Paris. In 1891, Marie followed her sister to Paris and enrolled in the Sorbonne University, where she excelled in her studies and earned degrees in physics and mathematics. In 1894, Marie met Pierre Curie, a French physicist who was working on the properties of magnetism. They fell in love and married the following year. They also became scientific partners and collaborators, sharing a common interest in the newly discovered phenomenon of radioactivity, which is the spontaneous emission of radiation from certain elements. They decided to investigate the mysterious rays that were emitted by uranium, a metal that had been discovered by Henri Becquerel, a French physicist who later shared the Nobel Prize in Physics with the Curies in 1903. The Curies worked in a dilapidated shed that served as their laboratory, where they conducted painstaking experiments to isolate and identify the sources of radioactivity. They discovered that uranium was not the only radioactive element, and that there were other substances that were even more radioactive than uranium. They named one of them polonium, after Marie's native country, and the other one radium after the Latin word for ray. They also coined the term radioactivity to describe the property of these elements. The Curie's discoveries were groundbreaking and revolutionary, opening up new fields of research and applications in physics, chemistry, medicine, and industry. They also had to overcome many difficulties and prejudices, such as the skepticism of the scientific community, the lack of recognition and funding, the health risks of exposure to radiation, and the sexism and xenophobia that Marie faced as a foreign woman in France. In 1906, tragedy struck when Pierre Curie was killed in a street accident, leaving Marie a widow and a single mother of two daughters, Irene and Eve. Marie was devastated by the loss of her husband and colleague, but she continued her work with courage and determination. She succeeded Pierre as the head of the physics laboratory at the Sorbonne, becoming the first woman to hold a professorship at the university. She also directed the research of many students and collaborators, including her daughter Irene, who later followed her footsteps and won the Nobel Prize in chemistry with her husband Frédéric Joliot Curie in 1935. In 1911, Marie Curie received her second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry, for her discovery of polonium and radium, and her contribution to the advancement of chemistry. She was the first person and the only woman to win two Nobel Prizes in different fields, a remarkable achievement that has not been matched by anyone else. She also became the first woman to be a member of the French Academy of Medicine and the International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation of the League of Nations. During World War I, Marie Curie devoted herself to the development and use of mobile X-ray units to help diagnose and treat wounded soldiers on the battlefield. She also trained many women to operate these units, which saved countless lives and improved medical care. After the war, she founded the Radium Institute in Paris and Warsaw, which became centers of excellence for research on radioactivity and its applications, especially in the treatment of cancer. Marie Curie died on July 4, 1934, at the age of 66, from a plastic anemia caused by exposure to radiation. She was buried next to Pierre in the cemetery of Sceaux, but in 1995 their remains were transferred to the Pantheon in Paris. She was the first woman to be honored with this distinction. 
Marie Curie was a remarkable woman who overcame many obstacles and challenges to pursue her passion for science. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.